From The Sopranos to OnlyFans at age 51, Dre DiMatteo's journey is nothing short of extraordinary. But who is she and how did she end up here? We're diving deep into the life of this Emmy award-winning actress, from her humble beginnings in Queens to her rise in Hollywood. We'll also explore the shocking twist that led her to join OnlyFans. And that's not all. Stick around till the end for an exclusive list of other celebrities who've ventured into the world of OnlyFans. But first, let's unravel the intriguing story of Dre DiMatteo. Dre DiMatteo, born on January 19, 1972 in Whitestone, Queens, had a mother who worked as a playwright and teacher, while her father worked in the furniture manufacturing industry. Her upbringing was rooted in Queens, and she completed her education at Loyola School, an all-girls Catholic high school. Subsequently, she pursued higher education at New York University's Tisch School of the Arts, where she successfully earned a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. While studying at NYU, DiMatteo began as a music major, but it wasn't long before she found her true passion for acting in a directing class. Switching her major was the best decision she made, and she attributes her strong skills in method acting to her time at the university. This acting approach focuses on using one's own emotions and experiences to bring a character to life, and DiMatteo's training at NYU was crucial in developing this talent. Following the completion of her degree in 1994, DiMatteo dedicated a number of years to honing her craft on off-Broadway stages throughout New York City. However, it was her role as Adriana La Serva in the widely praised HBO drama The Sopranos that truly propelled her career forward. Thanks to her impressive portrayal, DiMatteo was both commercially successful and highly respected, even earning an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in 2004. DiMatteo's success on The Sopranos opened up opportunities for other roles. She starred opposite Wendy Case on the NBC series Joey from 2004 to 2006 and appeared in several films including Deuces Wild, Swordfish, and The the Perfect You. Following the end of The Sopranos, DiMatteo managed to secure various roles, albeit not as high profile. Notable appearances include her portrayal of Detective Jolyn Kay in the final season of Desperate Housewives in 2012, as well as appearances on popular shows like CSI Miami, CSI NY, Californication, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Dre DiMatteo dated musician Shooter Jennings, the only son of country music legends Waylon Jennings and Jesse Coulter. They had two children together, a son named Waylon Albert Blackjack Jennings and a daughter named Alabama Gypsy Rose Jennings. Jennings and DiMatteo eventually ended their relationship without marrying. In July 2015, DiMatteo became engaged to White Snake bass guitarist Michael Devon. DiMatteo's passions outside of acting include her family, as well as various social causes she supports. She has worked to raise awareness of autism spectrum disorders. Also, she has supported charities such as Autism Speaks, an organization dedicated to promoting solutions for individuals with autism and their families. Besides, she has been involved with organizations that work to prevent cruelty to animals, such as the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. On March 26, 2015, DiMatteo lost her Manhattan apartment to a gas explosion. She had lived in the apartment for 22 years and considered it her home. The explosion that killed two people occurred in the basement of the building next door, causing a fire that destroyed multiple buildings, including DiMatteo's apartment. She and her children watched their home fall to the ground on television. The apartment held many memories for DiMatteo, including bringing both of her children home from the hospital. She lost all of her belongings in the fire, including photographs and videos of her late father. Reflecting on the tragedy, DiMatteo shared, I loved it there more than anything. I just want to be home. DiMatteo and others who lost their homes have filed a $17 million lawsuit against the city and companies involved. Five people were arrested in 2016 on charges related to the explosion. DiMatteo displays a brick from her old apartment as a reminder of what was lost. In her role as Adriana La Serva on the hit show The Sopranos, Dre DiMatteo delivered a memorable performance that earned her an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series in 2004. Portraying the longtime girlfriend of Christopher Moltisanti, DiMatteo brought depth, complexity, and heart to the character of Adriana. Adriana's tumultuous relationship with Christopher showcased DiMatteo's range and skill as an actress. She aptly depicted Adriana's fierce loyalty and desire to please Christopher, even as his reckless behavior and mob activities continuously put her in difficult and dangerous situations. DiMatteo's emotional performance during Adriana's tragic demise in Season 5 highlighted her talent for bringing raw pathos and humanity to the role. DiMatteo's win for the Emmy Award was well-deserved recognition of her pivotal contribution in making Adriana La Serva such a compelling and unforgettable character. Her nuanced performance throughout all six seasons of The Sopranos cemented DiMatteo's status as an acclaimed television actress 
and her place in pop culture as an icon of the show. Even today, Adriana La Serva remains a fan favorite character, due in large part to De Mateo's poignant and layered portrayal. She brought a sense of warmth, humor, strength, and vulnerability to Adriana that resonated deeply with viewers. De Mateo's win at the 2004 Emmy Awards honored her instrumental role in crafting such an enduring and beloved character. Her unparalleled work in The Sopranos demonstrated De Mateo's immense talent and helped launch her successful career. If you are enjoying the video so far, hit that subscribe button like you're sending Tony Soprano to collect a debt because you won't want to owe yourself the joy of missing our future videos. When Dre DiMatteo unexpectedly joined OnlyFans at the age of 51 in 2021, many fans were surprised. As an Emmy Award-winning actress known for her role as Adriana La Serva on The Sopranos, her decision to join the subscription-based social media platform seemed out of character. However, a closer look at DiMatteo's circumstances reveals that her choice was born out of necessity rather than desire. The 2015 devastating gas explosion accident caused massive damage to her home, leaving her without shelter or a means of income. Although she continued acting following the loss of her home, work became increasingly difficult to find, especially after she publicly opposed COVID-19 vaccine mandates. Her outspoken stance caused some in the entertainment industry to blacklist her, making an already precarious career nearly impossible to sustain. Confronted by financial difficulties and dwindling prospects in Hollywood, DiMatteo made a challenging decision to turn to OnlyFans as a last-ditch effort to sustain her livelihood, where subscribers commit to a monthly fee in exchange for access to a diverse array of content, encompassing photos, videos, live streams, and beyond. This concept has not been immune to controversy, as some interpret it as a form of refined adult entertainment. Nevertheless, others perceive it as a means of empowerment, allowing content creators to foster connections with their audience and generate income from their creative pursuits. Here is the list of some of the other celebrities who've joined OnlyFans. Soleil Moonfry, famous for her portrayal of Punky Brewster in the 80s sitcom, became an OnlyFans member in 2021. She offers behind-the-scenes insights from her time on the show and her current life. Tiffany Renee Darwish, the pop singer known for hits like I Think We're Alone Now, joined OnlyFans in 2020. Her content includes music, live performances, and personal updates that she shares with her fans. Whitney Cummings is a versatile comedian, actress, and writer who joined OnlyFans in 2022. She offers exclusive behind-the-scenes moments and comedy sketches on her OnlyFans account. Carmen Electra is the iconic 90s beauty and actress who joined OnlyFans in 2023. She shares a mix of throwback moments, personal updates, and exclusive content. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your take on Dre's decision to join OnlyFans to support her family? Let us know in the comments.